The Ukrainian Freedom Orchestra is performing in Warsaw, Poland to mark the third anniversary of the war. So beautiful. That's Beethoven's Ninth Symphony and the EU's official anthem. One way or another, it does seem as if the end of this war may actually be in sight. French President Emmanuel Macron says a truce could be just weeks away, and already both Europe and the U.S. are talking to Kyiv about the country's resources. Ukraine is potentially a rich source of minerals like lithium, graphite and nickel. Those elements are used in nuclear reactors, magnets, electric car batteries and other green technologies. Critical minerals though, are also vital and this is key here for the defense industry. It's used in the production of aircraft, missiles and tanks. One of Ukraine's largest assets is lithium, which is concentrated in the center and east of the country. Here's the thing, though, getting those minerals out of the ground can be quite difficult. Mining requires major investments up front in equipment and infrastructure, and companies don't make those investments, usually without guaranteed security on the ground. Tony Sage is chairman and CEO of Critical Middles Corporation, and he joins us now. Really good to have you as we continue to have so many more questions rather than answers on all of this. Now, listen, your company has been eyeing Ukraine's critical mineral potential for some time. Uh, I've read that you're ready now, I believe, to invest a billion dollars to extract lithium from there. Why are Ukraine's critical minerals so valuable? And why do you believe the Trump administration has made this a priority issue in a peace agreement? Well, let's let's go back a few years before the war. Um, Germany uh, had over 50 percent of its energy requirements from Russia. All of a sudden, that's cu cut off. Look at their economy now. It's exactly the same as with, with where Earth. China controls 97 percent of the world's rare earths. Now, you don't want that concentrated in any mineral or even any commodity for one country, especially a country that could be in conflict with the West. So the critical minerals that are in Ukraine are essential to, ex uh, to be extracted for the benefit of the West. And yet we haven't seen the so-called West really do much about it. Uh, you've seen the potential of critical minerals in some countries get completely squandered by whether it's regulation, lack of capital investment. What would be different in Ukraine, especially given the obvious, right? There are security problems on the ground, and those will be there even if there is a truce with Russia. Uh, yes, look, I, I agree with that, but uh, you've got to start somewhere. So tell now, me why you don't you know, agree then. You Go ahead and disagree. Tell me why you don't agree with that. Uh, well, because I think uh, Russia needs a peace. I mean, their economy is not not great. So once a peace treaty is made, I think, uh, and the uh, the delineation of property um, has happened, I think you'll have a, a like you will in most of the uh, countries in the Eastern Bloc and ex-Soviet Union. I've dealt in Kazakhstan, for example. I've had no problems. Uh, in extracting the minerals there in that country. And I think that country will be the, uh, Ukraine will be the same after a truce has been uh, declared. And you don't think there need to be security guarantees to make sure that happens? Uh, look, I think in any truce, you're going to have to have some guarantees uh, on both sides. Um, I think what Trump's done is just bring it to a head. Uh, it should have been, I agree with what you said earlier, it, it's, it's two years too late, too many people have died. But bringing it to a head, I mean, we've been very unlucky. I bought the, the lithium deposit that we've got uh, three months before the war. Um, we had people on the ground. Um, it was very uh, terrible for my staff. They had to leave the country quickly. We had to get them out. Um, so it's been three-year wait. Uh, I've been urging everyone on every side to get, these, get this done as quickly as possible. It's taken a long time. Uh, I'm glad to hear Mr. Macron. Uh, saying that it's only weeks away. We've been praying for this moment for a long time, uh, not only for our resource and, and extraction, but also to, to stop the, the, uh, the death. And when we go to the, uh, the critical minerals piece of this, titanium, lithium, as we just discussed, or there's graphite, you actually have a long list uh, of what the Mighty 17, they call it, what Ukraine might have. Um, can you explain yep. why these are, uh, to use another word, critical uh, in the globe at this point in time, including the needs going forward, not just of the green industry, obviously, but of defense as well? Yeah, defense is the, the main one for the West. I mean, you, you look at the last three years, it's been horrific. How many missiles do you think have been sent? 
Every single missile needs a guidance system. All those guidance systems rely on rare earths. Uh, Elon Musk could not send a rocket into space. He could not launch the satellites he's uh, launched without rare earths. Now, if you're relying on China completely for all of these minerals going forward, uh, already China's banned the export of gallium, which is extremely important. Uh, uh, Antinomy, uh, they've banned. So, you, as I said earlier, you can't have one country, the whole of the West, relying on one country to supply these minerals. It's got to be diversified. Um, Greenland is another one why Mr Trump uh, wants to get Greenland. It's got one of the biggest resources of rare earths in the world outside of Russia and China, even bigger than what the Ukraine's got. So uh, that's the attention that uh, Trump's got on Greenland as well. So, yeah, there are rare earths in other places other than the Ukraine, but the Ukraine has got all the attention right now. It was Greenland about four or five weeks ago. But uh, both countries uh, have a lot of rare earths, and that's why I think Trump... Uh, is keen to uh, to end the war in one place and acquire Greenland in the other. Uh, you've explained a lot to us in there, and I'm glad that you brought up the issue of Russia. Listen, I only have about 30 seconds left, but Putin claims, listen, yeah. why leave Russia out of this? He says, claims to have 10 times of everything Ukraine has. Would you see them as a reliable partner going forward? No. Um, I think, well, under the current regime, no. I mean, he's proven uh, twice now, 2014 with Crimea and... Uh, 2021 with uh, Ukraine. So it can't be trusted, nor can China. And that's why there's such a push by the West, not only uh, Trump, but the EU have been in contact uh, as well with our company in particular, because we've got a massive rare earth deposit in Greenland, as well as one in Ukraine. So uh, yeah, well, uh, unfortunately, I've been put into the mix uh, on this uh, um, r rather quickly. Uh, but uh, yeah, in both countries, um, the, the main Part of my job is to start the extraction process, get the minerals out of the ground, get them to where they need to go. As ASAP, I'm sure. Well, uh, Tony, your misfortune is our fortune. We appreciate you being on the show and really hope to speak to you again as we continue to follow this story. Thanks Great. so much. It's been fantastic, Paula. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.